Hello and welcome back. Now we, let's look at another EOQ problem. Now this problem is is uh, slightly different from the previous problem that I had solved, um, where you know uh, it, although the previous problem is EOQ with quantity discount, here also we have an EOQ problem with quantity discounts. How, however. This problem is slightly different from the previous in the in that here you have two quantity discounts in the previous problem in the previous video there's only one quantity discount here there are two quantity discount let's uh, read the problem and, and solve it compute the EOQ given the following number of units bought at a time price per unit in rupees anything less than 1000 the price per unit that will be applicable is 20 rupees per unit then if you buy 1000 to 2999 it'll be 18 rupees per unit and at 3000 and above it'll be 16 rupees per unit the order cost is 200 rupees per order and the carrying cost is 10 percent of the price annual requirement of the item is 10,000 uh, unit okay that is your annual requirement or annual demand now you show this first all right now in this graph you 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 know you'll have two price breakpoints in the previous video there's only one price breakpoint because there's only one quantity discount however in this problem you'll have two price breakpoints all right b1 and b2 all right because uh, you know uh, you have two quantity discounts and you'll have three prices s1 s2 and s3 so if you buy anything less than 1000 zero to less than 1000 the price per unit will be uh, 20 okay so s1 is 20 and if you buy a uh, you know if you buy between 1000 all right let's say 1000 uh, units to 2999 the price applicable here will be s2 which is 18 rupees per unit and if you buy 3000 units and more then the price applicable will be S3, all right, which is 16 rupees per unit. So let's so and you have so remember you have two price breakpoints B1, which is 1000, and B2, which is 3000. All right, now so let's solve this problem. First is we have to find out the EOQ with price S3. All right. Again, we need to find out the EOQ with price S3. So we have to find out we would, we have to find out EOQ3. Okay, this is the formula. Square root of two times CO, which is your ordering cost, into A, which is your annual requirement or annual demand. Whole thing uh, divided by S3. Okay, because since we are finding out EOQ3, so the price per unit applicable here will be S3 into F. Okay which is the carrying cost, small f. So, 2 into CO, what is CO? It's 200 times A, which is 10,000, divided by S3 is 16 times the carrying cost is 10%, so 0 0.1. okay and when you solve this you'll get 1581.14 now this is lesser than all right now 1581.4 units is lesser than what is it lesser than b2 yes it is lesser than b2 but is it lesser than b1 no, it is not lesser than B1. So, you know, so it is between B1 and B2. So, it's less than B2. Okay, it is lesser than B2. But it is greater than B1. Alright, so therefore we will have to find out what is the total cost, okay, for this area here. We don't know whether it is you know you know it uh, see we have we have to find out what the total cost for this area here for the with the price 
uh, S2. We don't have to find out the total cost for EOQ1 with price S1. Why? Because here EOQ3 is lesser than B2, but it is greater than B1. All right, so the price range, it falls in this area here. So we have to find out what is TC for EOQ2 with price S2. All right, so 2 into CO into S2 into F into A plus S2 into A. So 2, what is CO? 200. S2 is 18, F is 10%, so 0 0.1, into A, which is 10,000 units. S2 is 18, into A is 10,000 units. So when you solve that, you'll get 72 lakhs plus 1 lakh 80,000. So you solve this you'll get 2683.28 plus 1 lakh 80,000 equals to 1 lakh 82,683.28 so we've already found out what is TC4 EOQ2 and compare that with TC at the price breakpoint B2 CO is 200, A is 10,000. Now, what is Q here? The value of Q is the price breakpoint, B2. So, B2 is 3,000. So, Q will be 3,000. 3,000 divided by 2. What is S3? 16 into F, which is 0 0.1, plus S3 is 16 times A, which is 10,000. So when you solve this, you'll get 666.67 plus 2,400 plus 1,60,000 equals to 1,63,000 and 66.67. All right, so here, when you compare TC for EOQ2 and TC at B1, which one is lesser? Yes. So TC at B2, since TC total cost at B2 price break point 2 is lesser than TC for EOQ2, the economic order quantity will be equal to B2, which is the price breakpoint, which is 3,000 units. All right. So, therefore, the EOQ for this problem is 3,000 units. Stay tuned for, you know, one or two more videos you know, on uh, similar problems, finding out the EOQ with quantity discounts with two price breakpoints. So stay tuned and I will post a few more videos.